What's up, gentlemen? So I'm not mad at you for wanting to look attractive and sexy, right? Of course not. I want you to. That's the whole reason why you subscribed, hopefully, to the Alpam YouTube channel and just drop this video one of these. But unfortunately, some of you are going about it the wrong way. Some things that dudes do thinking, yo, if I do this, I'm gonna look extra sexy or come across as crazy attractive. When the truth is that it actually does the opposite and you end up looking not only ugly, sometimes you look like a humongous douche. Number one is steroids, performance enhancing drugs or TRT. -tr All right, so the inspiration for this one is actually twofold, right? I went to Alpha Land <laughs> a few weeks ago and whoa, mama. The juice was a plentiful. I cannot imagine the pressure that you young dudes feel to look a certain way, right? When I was growing up, I had pressure, but nothing like today with social media. Every time you flip on your screen or look on your phone, there's some other jack chiseled stud of sexiness, right? You are amazing. Work hard, bust your ass in the gym, eat right, and your body will be amazing. Which brings me to the second thing that makes you look stupid. Wife beaters, right? I actually did a video years ago about bad boy summer style, right? And in the video, there I am, right? I'm rocking a wife beater, cut off jean shorts, fabric belt, and I look like a humongous douche looking back. You look like a humongous douche now. And cut off t-shirts, right? That's all like open on the side, right? Every single person that wears these looks skinny fat. And if you're skinny and you're actually lean, you look even smaller. And the reason is because of the shape, right? When you actually cut off the sleeves, all of a sudden that t-shirt gets like super boxy, making your shoulders appear more narrow. But check it out. Here is a sleeveless t-shirt that was actually designed to be sleeveless. Notice that it doesn't have that gaping hole down by the man boob love handle region. But some of you want a little more skin and I'm gonna show you an appropriate fit for a tank top, right? This tank top I would say is what you should be shooting for in terms of appropriate, all right? To go work out or the beach, the pool or just chilling, right? The straps, not too thick, not too thin. The deepness of the crew neck, not super low, but not super high. So you get a little upper chest action. The body of the shirt, not skin tight like a wife beater so it doesn't make you look like you're gonna beat somebody's ass. Speaking of ass, you look like an ass if you're wearing your hat wrong. Now, what does wearing a hat wrong look like? This. Backwards, you look like a punk. All right. Now, any degree of like sideways, you also look super stupid and ugly. You don't look cool. You don't look hot. You don't look sexy. Now, if you're going here, all right, you got to make sure you're not tucking your ears in, right? There isn't anything that looks dumber. Fedoras, <laughs> they're not cute anymore, right? There was a time where it was like, yo, fedora, rock a fedora. Don't rock a fedora. You look stupid. Another stupid trend, gentlemen, that has left the building is beanie hats like this, right? Ah, makes you look stupid. Making it rain or treating all your friends, showing off money. Here's the thing. Now, good for you, right? Congratulations that you have some cash. But one of the things that it does, when you actually like show off, whether or not it's posting pictures of you and your new car or your stuff, you know, or like you doing all sorts of amazing, exotic, incredible, rich people things, other people view you as egotistical and arrogant and that automatically makes you 100% less attractive. Which brings me to something else and the next thing that you need to stop doing. It's not attractive, it makes you look horrible. And that is trying to be or act like you're something that you're not. There are way too many dudes that I see trying to look tough and hard and act and be something that they're not. When the truth is that you're enough, you're amazing, and you are a badass. Yeah, you are a badass dude, gentlemen, and if you don't feel that way, I need you to do something today. There's an audio book that I'm gonna link to down below by a woman named Jen Cicero. The book is called You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. This book is designed specifically to help you unlock your inner badass and finally live the life that you deserve. You're gonna stop doubting yourself. You're gonna stop with the limiting belief and just start believing in yourself and kicking more ass for free. Gentlemen, if you want to check this audiobook out for free, I'm going to link down below to a special link. It's from Audible, today's video sponsor. It's audible.com slash alpha m. If you go through there or send the word alpha m, text it to 500 500, you're going to get a 30 day free Audible membership. You're also going to get one free audiobook. Audible, as you know or should know, has a crazy crap ton of amazing audiobooks. Everything from celebrity memoirs to bestsellers the business books, but they also have an Audible Plus category. The Audible Plus category, you get to consume as much of this content as you want when you're an Audible member. And they are always constantly adding new super badass stuff, including podcasts, amazing podcasts, not to mention sleep trackers, guided fitness and meditation programs. So the way that Audible works is awesome. Every single month you get one credit to download any audiobook you want. 
it doesn't matter the price, but you also get unlimited access to the Audible Plus category that's got all of this incredible content, not to mention Audible Originals, not to mention some of your favorite shows ad-free. Audible for me has been a huge game changer. I am not somebody that will sit there and read a book. I don't have time, I don't like to do that, but what I love to do is listen. And with the Audible app, you can literally listen anywhere. For me, when I'm jogging, when I'm exercising, when I'm bench pressing, I'm listening to an audiobook, right? Because instead of just listening to music, I can actually listen to something incredible that's going to literally change my life or change the way that I think about things. But I'll also listen when I'm at home, when I'm in the car, when I'm driving. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you are looking to up and elevate your knowledge base and listen to some incredible content, I want you to hit that link down below and go get started with Audible with that 30-day free Audible membership. That's audible.com slash alpha M or send the text alpha M to 500-500 to get a 30-day free trial. That audiobook that I want you to grab today is you are a badass or the subtle art and not give it an F. Both are amazing. Both will literally change your life. The next thing we got to talk about is just unbelievable how much, like it's just crazy to me. And that's tattoos, right? So I am not the person that should be talking about good or bad tattoos. I had two, they're both removed because they were so stupid, but I see guys that are getting worse tattoos than me and more of them all over the place. And the problem with tattoos is that they're addicting, right? You get one, you're like, yeah, I love it. Or guys, instead of like getting one, will be like, yo, I want a sleeve, right? They're not just getting like one, they're getting a sleeve. And then they're like, yo, that was awesome. I'm gonna get more. And then they just end up covering their body. Gentlemen, think before you ink and never, ever, ever tattoo your face or your neck or your hands. If you can't cover it with a collared shirt, you shouldn't be getting it. The next thing that makes you look stupid, even though you think it makes you look super sexy, right? Not smiling, right? There's so many dudes, so many dumb dudes that I see that try to look super tough, right? And all the dumb selfies, which is actually the next thing we got to talk about. You are way overdoing it when it comes to selfies, right? And all those dudes, and here's the funniest thing. I recently joined a new gym, right? And it's a lot of young dudes. The amount of young dudes that are sitting there, right? Flexing, taking selfies in all the mirrors. It is unbelievable. I look at these dudes and I'm like, you are such a Door. There's nothing wrong with progress pictures, right? Go home, take your progress picture. But everybody is posting pictures of their bodies, women, of their booties. Not that I hate booties, I love booties, right? But looking for that validation, looking for people to say, oh my God, you look incredible, or oh my God, great job. It is a recipe for disaster. Emotionally, right now it feels good, but eventually it's gonna stop. But all this seeking of attention, guys, it's unsustainable. It's also not reality. It also is gonna eff up your brain. The next thing we gotta talk about is facial hair, because facial hair is one of those things that makes dudes look super stupid. And every dude that I see rocking facial hair, I know in their head they're like, yo, this shit is making me look sick, right? It makes you look sick in the head if you got something that is too big, too long, too unruly. You got to trim that shit up. Manage it, gentlemen. Super thin or tightly edged beards make you look horrible. If you're carving up underneath your chin, you look like you got a fat double chin. A few other things before I roll out of here, gentlemen, that's making you look stupid even though I know you think in your head, yo, sex machine right here. All right, and that is too many accessories. Over accessorization makes you look like a douche. Something else it does is wearing way too much fragrance or overpowering body wash or body spray, right? Now, here's the deal. You think, yo, it smells incredible. I only used six squirts when the truth is you should only be using two, possibly three. Overpowering body wash or fragrances is just as offensive as stinky ass pits or stinky ass balls. You Come here, come here you, you are amazing. You're also super badass, you're sexy, and you're attractive. Unfortunately, some of you are taking it next level in terms of flipping the script and making yourself actually unattractive. If you're doing any things we talked about in this video, hopefully now you see the light, hopefully now you will stop so that you can unlock your inner sex machine.